As we enter into our prayer today, we're asking to remember Ann Sherman in a special way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build, a time to weep, and a time to laugh a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, and a, a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time, and has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. The word of the Lord. Be Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you notice him? The son of man that you take thought of him. Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others, Elijah, 
Still others, one of the ancient prophets, has arisen. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned yesterday, uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, the author Koleth kind of just has a, well, this is just how it's going to be, almost a, almost a defeatism in that. Well, it's enough of an inspiration anyways that the birds turned into a song, right? So uh, there is a time, there is a season. Uh, but the questions at the end, in, in addition to the times and the seasons that are listed, you know, so, so what advantage has the worker from his toil? Does, does, it, does it really matter? Is it just going to keep coming as it was going to happen anyways? God has made everything appropriate to its time, and he has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering. I think that's where you can see our God cracking into a world that just says, well, it's just how it is. It's just a, you know, like the, the, the ball got rolling so many years ago, and it's just cycles and seasons, and, and we're just here for, for a short time. But there's a timelessness that he's put into our hearts that we haven't discovered so you could kind of see in some way Jesus himself predicting that he would die. Like, right, that's just what happens. You know, people die. When it comes at me, when I feel myself into a, another cycle that's just moving towards death, towards suffering, you know, uh, hopefully towards new life for someone else. It's just how it's going to be. Wait, there's timelessness here I, that I haven't discovered. Jesus, show me your presence in this. And I think that can really crack open for us a time when we feel trapped, we feel maybe meaningless if our work isn't really making a difference in this world. You know, you're just laboring on again and again in a, in a spot at work. Maybe it doesn't seem happy. Am I really getting through to anyone here? In family, in your marriage, is it really going to change? I've been at it long enough. I know how it works. I say this, he says this, I say this, right? Like it's just going to continue. The kids, you know, just far from God or whatever your fear is or, or str struggling with some addiction or something in their life, it's just stuck. There's kind of the Lord Jesus speaking into what is this revelation that he is the Christ of God. We had this, of course, on Sunday a, a month ago um, from Matthew's Gospel. Today is Luke. The Son of Man must suffer greatly. All right. So, Jesus, you're in this suffering. that You've been here already. And you're able to continue rather than just saying this is how humanity goes. They, they raise up a great nation and it makes an a, agreement with the wrong nation. They turn their back on God, and, and they're in exile, and here they go again. This is just Israel's story, and over and over and over again. It's what sinfulness is. We, we compete for more, and we push down others, and we lose God, and now we lost it all, and now we're back to God. Jesus steps into that. Right? He just steps into that. He's like, I want to show you another way. And, and, and so... As we feel like, why do I even matter? Why do I even continue on in this cycle? It's Jesus, you're here already. You've suffered already. Rejected and killed, but on the third day, raised. So rather than simply with a humanistic effort, okay, my effort matters, there will be a third day. Let's keep fighting. I'll keep, if, if you're, if you're uh, you know, if it seems like it's uh, too much to handle, God doesn't give you too much to handle. I've heard that before. Just keep on fighting. Just not a bad quote. I hope someone said it to you and it meant something to you. Um, but Jesus, where are you in this? I think opens this up differently for us. Our, our suffering, our trapped, trappedness feeling, if that's a word, um, is Jesus, where are you in this? And then when you feel him with you in it, um, you'll see he'll carry you to that third day. He'll carry you to that resurrection, and he'll bring new life to a spot that feels like it's going nowhere.
we bring our needs before our God. We continue to pray for the church throughout the world that it can make the, pre the hidden presence of Christ known, we pray to the Lord. We pray for world leaders that they would see their, their efforts as bigger than just this world, that they might have an eternal perspective, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick and suffering, for those who are awaiting healing, and for those who care for them and take risks to bring them healing, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are discerning life's vocation towards marriage, towards religious life, towards towards priesthood, that they would be inspired by the Holy Spirit and have the courage to follow through, we pray to the Lord. Lord and gratitude for those who have been able to reach us in our, in our hopelessness, uh, that they might have the reward of their generosity, we pray to the Lord. Lord for Anne Sherman and for all of our beloved deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord we take a moment and bring to God the other prayers and petitions which are important to us today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, God, help us always to see you at work in our lives and in this world. Give us courage and confidence that you will answer these prayers we bring to you, and you will accompany us on the journey. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever with the Spirit and God. We will be fit to be with our sacrifice and our sin. This day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me all from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to thank now, many of you for signing up for the Tuesday night ad uh, adoration times now. We're going to allow a give an opportunity for more families to join us. Of course, today, you know, on Fridays, we'll continue between our masses, but we'll not next week, but the following. So in October, we'll begin Tuesday night's adoration throughout the year. So very grateful for that opportunity for our parish family. We continue to pray for an end to the pandemic. O Mary, full of grace, patroness of this nation and mother of the church, in this time of illness and worldwide need, we seek your intercession for the human family before your son's throne of grace and mercy, we ask for strength in adversity, health in weakness, and comfort in sorrow. Help us, O Blessed Mother, to be filled with confidence and trust in the tender compassion of our God. Let us not be afraid, like our own Saint Mary Ann Cope, who entrusted her life and ministry among the outcasts of society into the care of our divine physician. Continue to watch over all who are sick, as well as those who care for them, and give wisdom to all who are seeking a cure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you.